That's a lot of attachments. What can they possibly all be for? G'day guys and gals, today we are going to take a look at the AS001G or more specifically, we're going to take a look at all the attachments that you can use on this thing. If you haven't already seen my full review on this tool, take a look up in the top corner up here and down in the description I'll put some links. So I won't be going over the power and all the different features of the tool, we're going to look at the features of the attachments. If at any point you're interested in any of the attachments you'll see me feature in this video or you're interested in the tool itself, Take a look down in the description, there'll be some links. I'll put as many as I can find down there, as well as model numbers. When you buy this tool in New Zealand and in most parts of the world, it will come with these five attachments. If you get one direct from Japan, you will get a bunch of other attachments as well, but you won't get the full set like I'm about to show you in a moment. But let's look at the first five that you'll definitely get with your tool. This one, as you can see, has five holes in the nozzle. So this is like rubbery on the end, plastic on this end where it clips on the tool. And you would use this as a wide sweeping sort of tool. It'll blow over about 110, 130 degrees, something like that. Good for clearing off a bench or a large flat surface. This nozzle is also good for blowing off your Lego collection. These three are good for all manner of multi-purpose blowing. For general tasks like cleaning a filter such as this, this is a Mitsubishi dehumidifier filter where you can see the vents come in at this point here. They come in on the edges of the thing as well, but there's a big vent in the middle and all the dust gets sucked in the middle there and leaves a big strip of dust right here. So when I'm doing this sort of cleaning, I use one of these three, whichever one I sort of grab at the time really. I usually go for that one, but which one should we do today? Yeah, I'll go for that one. This one on the end is the most versatile of all the nozzles. It may not look it, but you'll find out more in a moment. And this is an inflator nozzle, which you can use to blow up. Wow, let's take a look, eh? How about we use it to blow up a donut? So this nozzle is for use with one of these valves, very common on beach balls and inflatable toys and that sort of thing. So you shove it in there, make sure you push the valve open at the end of the attachment, get it right in there like that. Let's click this on, and zoom out, and blow baby. Just like that, instant donut. So those are the five nozzles you should expect to see when you buy your AS001G. If you're in America, that will be the GSA01. But there are a bunch of other attachments available. Let's take a look at this big snaky looking one here. Now this is quite different to the other attachments because this goes on the back of the tool. This doesn't blow, she sucks. If you remove the filter from the back here, turn it and then ping it out like so, you can then insert the big snake. So it's got a couple of little bits you line up. Don't worry about the blue bits, there to actually keep it tight in place. It's the little plastic tangs you need to line up with the holes on the side and then give it a twist until the lines line up on the top here. We now have a sucking tool. This has the same sort of end on it that the other end of the tool has so you can clip in attachments like so and same sort of mechanism to get them off. Pull and turn. The most useful nozzle to attach on the end is the 13mm nozzle. With that in place you can now begin to expel air instead of blowing it. But like this, it may not be much use to you. That's why there are several other attachments you can buy to clip on the end of this. The first is just a rubbery attachment that is pretty similar in size and shape to that one. But that means it's because it's rubber you can push it into a valve to expel air. You can also use that to blow air if you so desired into something. If you are blowing up an airbed, for example, you can use that nozzle and you can also use it to suck the air back out. Next up is this dish funnel sort of shaped one. 
just pokes on the end again it's a rubbery device it's not plastic now this is great for like vacuum seal bags when you want to store stuff away and you want to compress it down or you're going on holiday and you want to pack a lot of stuff in a suitcase you know those bags that have the valve thing just like this Now remember if you're using this to suck rather than blow, try not to suck up any particles because any particles are going to come through here, they're going to either get caught up and block up your filter or if there's no filter there they're going to go through and into the inside of the machine before it gets fired out the front and it could do some damage. So blow dust, don't suck it. And speaking of dust, if we take a look in the back of the unit here, we've got a couple of filter type things, just real basic spongy looking things. So if you ping that out, there's another one underneath there, as you can see, but you can get a HEPA filter. So if you are, say, cleaning inside computers or something, you can put this on the back, and then that way you know that any particles in the air are not getting blown into whatever you're trying to clean. They'll hopefully get trapped in the back here. That way, when you insert this attachment, you can clean inside a computer or any other electrical appliance or anywhere you just want a fine jet of air. When you've got the tool set up like this, you can of course just lock it on, pull the trigger, lock it on, and go about your blowing. I'm afraid I no longer have a desktop PC, so it's gonna have to be a laptop cleaning. And last, but by no means least, what will no doubt become one of my favorite attachments, because if you take a look at this tool, she is rather grubby. It's got a lot of concrete dust attached to it all around here. Not great, I really need to get another one of these just for concrete. Well, use this one for concrete and get another one for doing cleaner stuff. And I might just get the 18 volt version. What? 18 volt version. Might get the 18 volt version and keep that for being clean and let the wife use that around the house and stuff and I will use this one for all the dirty stuff. Yes you heard correctly 18 volt one is on the way so I'm told. Anyway this last attachment also utilizes the 13 millimeter nozzle. This piece of tube here has a taper on this end. Poke it through the nozzle Bada bing bada boom, you now have a big long extended nozzle to blow out holes when you're setting concrete anchors or you're putting in bolts after you've drilled your concrete hole, shove this in there, blast out the dust. But if you can't get to the bottom of your hole with this one, then you can put an extension on it. Now these come together, the two pieces, you don't have to buy them separately. And now we have a big long blowy wand. Woo! Abracadabra. That's pretty darn long. And what diameter is it? These ends of the nozzles are 10 millimeters in diameter and this one here is 200 millimeters long. Smaller one here is about half an inch at this point, whereas this one is about 14 millimeters. So that's a quick look at all the attachments you can get for this thing. When you clip them on, they just pop on real easy, like so. To get them off, pull the ring back and turn them. Easy as. It has four modes. One, two, three, four. A light. And if you want to know anything else about it, Take a look at the video up the top, like I said, it'll be on the end screen as well and down in the description. If you like the video and you want to see more 40 volt Makita stuff, make sure you subscribe. Nobody does more 40 volt Makita stuff than me. And until then, have fun blowing or sucking or whichever takes your fancy. Cheers, guys.